Dear students, I welcome you all to the stereochemistry lecture. This is the first lecture from the module stereochemistry, which is your second module in CHE3 CO3 complementary course organic chemistry. I am Dr. Manoj Shail, Assistant Professor, Search and PG Department of Chemistry, St. Joseph's College, Iringarakuda. Okay. Let us start with the simplest organic molecule, methane. If I asked you to write the structure of methane, you would probably write CH4. Well, you will get some information from CH4. What information? This molecule contains one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms, but nothing more. How these atoms are bonded, which is not clear, from this representation. I would rather call CH4 is the molecular formula of methane. How about this? This is more in detail compared to this representation. Here you can see the carbon atom is bonded to four hydrogen atoms. So the, all the bondings are clearly mentioned in this structure. However, this structure is not the complete representation of methane. I can call this structure as structural formula of methane, which shows all kind of bondings, which atom is bonded to which. But to get the complete picture of methane, we should know about hybridization of carbon atom. So, in methane, the carbon atom is in sp3 hybridization. So for a sp3 hybridization, the geometry is tetrahedral. So that means this carbon atom is in tetrahedral shape. So a complete representation of methane should definitely represents that tetrahedral shape. So here, this representation I would say is the complete representation of methane molecule. The central atom is carbon. Carbon is bonded to four hydrogen atoms where you can see that these two hydrogen atoms are lying in the plane of this slide. One hydrogen atom, this hydrogen atom is projecting towards you and this hydrogen atom projecting away from you. So this is the tetrahedral geometry. Okay. So here, this is again a tetrahedral shape represented by using ball and stick model. So these two representations actually gives a picture of three-dimensional arrangement of methane molecule. So this kind of three-dimensional representation of molecules is nothing but stereochemistry. So stereochemistry is special arrangements of atoms or groups in molecule. Come to another example, which is ethane. Ethane, you can represent ethane like C2H6, but still, as I mentioned earlier, this representation doesn't give you which atom is bonded to which. Again, C2H3 is the molecular formula of ethane. Nothing more, you can get it from that representation. You can also represent ethane like this, which is the normal way when we write on a paper, ethane normally represented like CH3, CH3. Here, you can get some more information, like the two carbon atoms, they are bonded to each other by using a single bond and the hydrogen atoms, three hydrogen atoms with this carbon atom, the other three hydrogen atom with this carbon atom. Again, we don't know how these hydrogens are bonded. So, this structure gives you all information about the bonding, like these hydrogen atoms are bonded to this carbon atom, and this carbon atom is bonded to the other carbon atom, and the other hydrogen atoms are bonded to the second carbon atom. But again, 
these are structural formula i would say because here also you have to think about the hybridization of carbon atoms here both carbon atoms are saturated carbon atoms that means only single bonds are there so definitely these two carbon atoms are again in sp3 hybridization so if you want to represent either in in its perfect manner you should represent the geometry of these two carbon atoms that means the geometry of the whole molecule so ethene exists in tetrahedral shape both carbon atoms in ethene will be in tetrahedral shape so how you can represent ethene like that so this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized this carbon atom is also in sp3 hybridization <coughs> sorry so this will give you the complete geometry of ethene molecule so these two junctions are carbon atoms and both carbon atoms are in tetrahedral shape for example consider this carbon atom so you can see that this bond and this bond these two bonds are in the plane of the slide this carbon atom has other three hydrogen atoms one hydrogen sorry other two hydrogen atoms one hydrogen atom is projecting towards you the other one projecting away from you take this carbon atom second carbon atom here also this bond and this bond these two bonds are lies in the plane of the slide one hydrogen atom is projecting towards you the other hydrogen atom projecting away from you okay so these two carbon atoms are in tetrahedral shape which is clear from this representation so this is again a three dimensional representation of ethene and here this is ball and stick model to represent ethene so this structure gives the stereochemistry of ethene molecule one more example try to identify which is this which is this molecule okay so here i can count 1 2 3 4 5 5 carbon atoms okay and rest all are hydrogen atoms so here you have three hydrogen atoms and if you see the geometry of each carbon atom i mean geometry of this molecule you can see that here this bond and this bond these two bonds lies in the plane of the slide and one bond is projecting towards you the other bond is projecting away from you so this carbon atom is in tetrahedral geometry so this carbon atom is in sp3 hybridization if you take this carbon atom the second one here also one bond the other bond these two bonds lie in the plane of the slide one bond is projecting towards you the other one is projecting away from you so again this carbon atom is also in tetrahedral shape that means sp3 hybridized here also the situation is similar so you can see that all five carbon atoms are in tetrahedral shape and all five carbon atoms are in sp3 hybridized state okay so what might be this molecule so i can represent the same molecule three dimensionally like this so if you examine c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 all five carbon atoms are in tetrahedral shape two bonds lie in the plane of the slide one hydrogen atom projecting towards you the other one projecting away from you okay so there are five carbon atoms and this one is the structural representation not three dimensional one you can also represent this the molecule like this here starting with first carbon atom ch3 this junction is ch2 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 ch3 again the molecular form is c5h12 and the molecule is nothing but pentane so normally we represent pentane like ch3 ch2 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 ch3 but this is not the three dimensional representation three dimensional representations are this one and this one all are either structural formula or molecular formula so for pentane these two stru structures represents its stereochemistry okay 
let us consider these molecules so try to figure out what kind of bonds are existing here so start with this molecule so this is a carbon atom this is again carbon atom this is the third one fourth one so we have four carbon atoms okay and we have a double bond between these two carbon atoms at the center right so here this is single bond here also it's single bond and see what are the other atoms attached to the carbon atoms so starting from the first carbon this first carbon is bonded to here three hydrogen atoms so one two three okay three hydrogen atoms the second car and and the fourth fourth bond is to the second carbon atom and the second carbon atom forms a double bond with the third carbon atom so one two two of its valency satisfied here the third valency for this carbon atom and the fourth valency with the hydrogen this carbon atom is also again forms a double bond with this carbon atom and one hydrogen atom and with the other carbon atom and here this carbon forms three bonds with hydrogen atoms and one bond with this carbon atom okay so if you examine the hybridization of each carbon atom take this one this carbon atom forms all single bonds single bond single bond single bond single bond so this carbon atom is in sp3 hybridization so you can see that the geometry is tetrahedral this is a tetrahedral geometry okay and this carbon atom forms a double bond so this carbon atom is in sp2 hybridization so what is the geometry of sp2 hybridization the geometry is trigonal planar so you can see that this is a trigonal planar shape okay again this carbon atom it also forms a double bond so that is again sp2 hybridization so that forms another trigonal trigonal planar geometry how about the fourth carbon atom the fourth carbon atom it forms all single bonds so this carbon atom is in sp3 hybridization and this carbon atom has a tetrahedral geometry so if you examine this molecule you can see that the first carbon atom and the fourth carbon atom they are in tetrahedral shape and the second carbon atom and third carbon atom they are in trigonal planar shape so this is a three dimensional representation of a molecule so we will see what is this molecule before that we'll go to the the other molecule here also you can see that we have one two three four four carbon atoms and there is a double bond between the second carbon atom and the third carbon atom and the first carbon atom forms bonds with the three hydrogen atoms so this carbon atom the first carbon atom is in sp3 hybridization and it has a tetrahedral geometry the last carbon atom also is in sp3 hybridization which has a tetrahedral geometry so that means if we examine the molecular formula of these two molecules it's same like 1 2 3 4 c4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 hydrogen c4 h8 this molecule is also have the same molecular formula c4 h8 and they are bonded i mean their structural formula is also the same like they are bonded in similar fashion but what is the difference you can identify here is here this is a ch3 group this also is a ch3 group so in this molecule these two ch3 groups are opposite to each other but here these two ch3 group are groups are in the same side of the molecule so that is the only difference between these two molecules so that difference comes from the spatial arrangement of atoms in all other respects these molecules are same so these molecules are nothing but the first one is trans to butene so it's a butene to butene molecule butene means there should be four carbon atoms 1 2 3 so that's but and ene that means it has a double bond and that double bond is in the second position so it's a two butene and it's a trans to butene because the similar groups are opposite to each other ch3 ch3 opposite hh opposite so it's a trans to butene 
So obviously the second molecule is cis to butene because the CH3 groups are uh, on the same side. Okay. Now you can represent, we normally represent these molecules like this structure, but again these representations are not three dimensional representation, but for our convenience, we represent in a paper trans to butene like this and cis to butene like this. But these two representations that gives you the three dimensional representation or stereo chemical representation of trans to butene and cis to butene. Okay, so this is to introduce stereochemistry. So stereochemistry is nothing but this, the arrangement of atoms or groups in a molecules, the spatial arrangements, how the atoms or the groups in a molecules are arranged in space. That is what we call the stereochemistry. Okay.